Do you want to improve your leadership skills? Start with effective communication. It's the cornerstone of any successful leadership strategy. And it's more than just delivering a clear message. It's about transparency, consistency, and most importantly, active listening. This means not just hearing what your team members are saying, but really understanding their perspectives and responding in a way that validates their feelings and ideas. It's about fostering an environment where open dialogue is encouraged and everyone feels heard. But remember, not everyone communicates in the same way. Some people respond better to direct instructions while others need a more empathetic approach. As a leader, it's your job to tailor your communication style to meet the needs of your individual team members. This not only shows respect for their unique personalities and working styles, but also enhances team cohesion and productivity. Remember, as a leader, your words set the tone for your team. Make them count. A leader sets the pace. How? By leading by example. Imagine a marathon. The pack moves as one, but at the front, the pace setter determines the speed, rhythm, and energy of the race. Leadership is no different. Your actions, your values, your work ethic, they all set the pace for your team. Influence is not about commanding respect, but earning it. When you embody the values you champion, your team sees, they learn, they emulate. That's the power of personal behavior on team dynamics. Nonetheless, it's not just about working hard, but working right. Demonstrating a strong work ethic is crucial. Showing your team the importance of quality, efficiency, and above all, integrity. But what's the secret ingredient? Setting a positive tone. A leader who fosters a positive and accountable environment encourages their team to take responsibility, to strive for excellence, to be accountable. Your actions speak volumes, ensure they tell a story of integrity and dedication. Leadership is more than just strategy and execution. It's about understanding and managing emotions too. Emotional intelligence is a cornerstone of effective leadership. It's the ability to recognize, understand, and manage our own emotions as well as those of others. It's about being tuned into your own emotional state and the emotional states of those around you. Now let's talk about empathy. Empathy is not just about feeling what others feel, it's about understanding their perspectives, their needs, their aspirations. It's what allows a leader to connect on a deeper level to inspire and to motivate. Developing emotional intelligence isn't an overnight process. It requires self-awareness and self-regulation. It involves practicing empathy and effective communication. It's about nurturing relationships and building trust. It's about being open to feedback and willing to adapt. Remember, a leader is not just a decision maker, they are a beacon of empathy and understanding. The true strength of a leader lies in their ability to delegate and empower. When you delegate tasks and responsibilities, you're not just offloading work, you're showing your team that you trust them with important tasks. This trust can boost their confidence and make them more invested in their work. But delegation isn't about abandoning your team to their fate. It's about finding the sweet spot between involvement and letting go. You provide guidance but also give your team the space they need to learn, grow, and take ownership of their work. This balance can be tricky to find but it's crucial for creating a team that's self-sufficient and resilient. Empowerment goes a step further. It's about giving your team the tools and authority they need to make decisions. When you empower your team, you're fostering a sense of responsibility, ownership, and trust. You're creating an environment where your team feels valued and capable. As a leader, your role is to guide your team to success, delegate, empower, and watch them soar. Leadership is an art, and like any art, it can be mastered with practice and patience. Let's quickly recap our four tips. First, we spoke about effective communication, clear, transparent, and tailored. Then, we discussed leading by example, setting the culture, and tone. Our third tip was emotional intelligence, understanding, and managing emotions. Lastly, we explored delegation and empowerment, key for growth and trust. These four pillars underpin effective leadership. Remember, the path to great leadership is a journey, not a destination. Keep learning, keep growing, and keep leading.